Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games. So I'm sending out a record of six wins, two losses so far on the Arena Open Day 1. So we're going to uh, go for the seventh win here to get the token for Day 2 and my 2000 gem prize. So really cross my fingers here. I got to say, so of the eight matches I've played so far, six have been against Yorion Luka. So that's been a real challenge. Obviously, two of my uh, losses, or my only two losses, were against Yorion Luka. One, I got really, really badly mana screwed. Uh, he managed to get to turn five, get um, Luka out, and go ahead and get Agent of Treachery. And he actually was a real dink and just started picking off my lands. So... Um, that was a terrible, terrible game. And then the other one, I got um, the guy down to one, and then he was able to, on his turn five, blink um, Omen of the Sun with uh, Yorion, put up enough blockers, gained back a little bit of life, and then uh, he kind of just took it down. So fair game, but um, yeah, it was a real challenge um, so far. So I beat four Luka decks and uh, two other just kind of random decks so far with this mono red deck and the deck I am playing. I've made a video of this deck, so if you want to check that out, I'll put it up here in the top right corner. Um, but basically, it's mono red Obosh. So, you know, basically a bunch of one drops, a lot of, um, you know, sort of haste type guys. And then uh, things like Bone Crusher Giant, Annex, and Phoenix of the Ash in the three slot. Um, Heraldric Banner just kind of pumps everything up. And then if we get to turn five, hopefully we still have a great board state. We play out Obosh, and uh, usually that's enough to win the game. But deck super resilient against board wipes because of things like Grim Initiate, um, Phoenix of Ash comes back with its escape cost and Annex Heart of the Forge obviously uh, gives us a bunch of Seder tokens if they go ahead and wipe the board. So deck can handle a one board wipe pretty well. Um, been really happy with this deck. So all right, here we go. Cross the fingers. Uh, looking for a day two seventh win here. Really super sweet if we got to play. That would be nice. Being on the play with this deck is... Uh, Definitely improves your chances of winning. So I go first. This is a terrible, terrible starting hand. Wow. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. Okay, much better. So we're going to go Scorch Spitter turn one, following into two Fervent Champions. Hopefully I hit a land there. Um, so that turn three, we can hit Annex. This looks actually very good. All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to ditch... Ugh, I'm not playing against any Yorion this turn. But it'd be a real di risk if I ditch light up the stage. But Annex is definitely a nice turn three drop. Um, you know what? I think... Yeah, I think we're going to ditch Annex. As, uh, as hard as that is to stomach, yeah, I think that's the way to go. All right. Hello? Start with turn one Scorch Spitter. I always take turn one Scorch Spitter um, as opposed to dropping like a Fervent Champion. I want to get in there for that extra sort of one damage usually on turn one. Uh, so this time I think I'm going to go ahead and shock this, get it out of the way before he plays a Witch's Oven next turn. And we'll get a Fervent Champion in there. I mean, my other option there would have been to just swing in with the Scorch Spitter and hit the light of the stage. So hopefully we hit the land and have that for sure to drop next turn. So I guess we'll see what we get here, whether or not that was a good call. All right, this works out pretty well. We'll go play a Fervent Champion, get in there for five damage, and then use our light up the stage. Coming back with the Cauldron Familiar to block the Scorch Spitter. Seems like a pretty good play on his part. Alright, be sweet to hit some some nice stuff here with this light up the stage. Keep the pressure on. Okay, let's play this. We got that Tin Street Dodger out there. I feel like we're in a pretty good position here, so I guess we'll see, depending on what he plays this turn. And of course, if I do uh, make it to day two, I'll be doing a follow-up video for this, and we'll see how we make out on day two. So, 
Fingers crossed. Yeah, there's that witch's oven. Okay, so now we got the cat back online. Seems like a pretty good deal. Would have liked to draw something other than a land there. Okay, yeah, we put out our banner here. And we're looking at Obosh next turn. We'll make the Tin Street Dodger unblockable so he doesn't die to the cat. And we'll get in there for likely four damage this turn. Oh, yeah, we're getting in there for five. That's right, the Fervent Champions will be buffing themselves. Whew, I gotta say, I'm really nervous here. Next turn, might be able to get her done with Castle Embreath or Obosh. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens here. It's all going to be depending what he plays down this turn. I don't want to see, you know, Murderous Rider or something with lifelink would be bad for us. What's he doing? Oh, he is going to look at the top of his deck. Another Witch's Oven. I'm super nervous. I gotta admit. I mean, it looks good, but I don't know. Wolf Strider's a pretty good deal for him. Puts him up a couple of blockers. I think Phoenix of Ash would get it done if we could uh, draw that. Yeah, Phoenix of Ash would get her done if we draw that. Um, oh, well, I don't know. I mean, he does have that Witch's Oven. Okay, we're going to see. Let's see what happens here. Wolf Rider's a pretty good deal for him, for sure. Okay, Shock is handy. I think we go Obosh here. I mean, I could Castle Embreath, Tin Street Dodger. That gets in there for two, three. And then shock him for two more, but he does have the Witch's Oven, so he survives. Um, no, actually, yeah, I would be one, one short to do that. Okay, I think we play out Obosh here. I think that's the play. Yeah. Alright, oh wash it is. So I think we're just gonna attack with the two fervent champions because we don't want to lose our Tin Street Dodger here. Yeah. Sorry I'm taking so long guys, this is like Crazy want to make sure I do not make any mistakes here. Yeah, I think that's the play. Alright, we're going in with the two Fervent Champions. We'll force him to use the cat and probably sack this, I'm guessing. If he has removal for Obosh, I'm going to be sad face next turn. Oh, 
Oh, it's nail biting time. That's unfortunate. I mean, I can't see him having anything. Uh, let's just block this. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I highly doubt there was something he would have had there in those colors that could have actually done anything to Obosh, but why risk it for one damage? Nah, because he gets a cat back. He can get a cat back with the food and he'll have three blockers. If I shock this, that will be four damage that will get through. Shock and light up the st or and castle on breath. Okay, I think I think we shock this. kill him this turn because he, yeah he's got that with the witch's oven yeah so he's gonna gain a life resolve do I kill him what happens here you can bring back one block. Okay, he's going to be at seven. Okay, now you can block, sack the cat again, bring it back, and he'll be at eight. I think I, I think I exactly kill him. Yes, we did it. Day two, here I come. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you're a subscriber, thank you for your support. You know I love you guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys all here tomorrow for day two. There's that token, baby. Arena open access, day two. Thanks again for watching, guys.